Hey there, let's talk about what Web3 actually is. Welcome to the world of Web3. If you've been hearing this term a lot lately, but aren't quite sure what it means, don't worry, you're in the right place. Today, we're breaking it down in the simplest way possible. Let's dive in. To understand Web3, let's take a quick trip back in time. Web1 was the first version of the internet. Think of it as a giant library. You could read information, but that's about it. No comments, no likes, no interactions. It was static and one way. Then came Web2, the internet we know today. This is the era of social media, online shopping, and apps. Web2 is interactive. You can create content, share it, and connect with others. But here's the catch. Most of this happens on platforms owned by big companies. They control your data, your content, and even what you see online. Enter Web3, the next evolution of the internet. Web3 is all about decentralization. Instead of relying on big companies to control the internet, Web3 gives power back to the users. How? Through blockchain technology. Blockchain is like a digital ledger that's transparent, secure, and owned by everyone, not just one company. This means no single entity can control or manipulate it. Cool, right? In Web3, you own your data. You can interact directly with others without middlemen. For example, you can use decentralized apps or dApps to do things like trade digital assets, vote on decisions, or even earn rewards all without giving up your personal information to a big corporation. Web3 also introduces new concepts like cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and smart contracts. Cryptocurrencies are digital money that operate on blockchain. NFTs are unique digital items you can own, like art or music. Smart contracts are self-executing agreements that run on blockchain. No lawyers, or banks need it. So, Web3 is about creating a more open, fair, and user-driven internet. It's still in its early stages, but the potential is huge. Imagine an internet where you truly own your digital life, where you're in control and where innovation happens faster than ever before. And that's Web3 in a nutshell. It's not just a tech buzzword, it's a movement toward a better, more decentralized internet. If you're excited to learn more, stick around for our next videos where we'll dive deeper into blockchain, crypto, and all things Web3. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.